Now some of you are saying, uh, wow, what is that? And others are saying, oh man, you got your video up before I got mine up. This is a new light. This is the LED messenger from American DJ. Let's have a closer look. So here's what the light looks like itself. Now a lot of you may be saying, hey, that looks an awful lot like the Revo 3. And it does, but look how deep this thing is. It's probably a good 50% deeper than the Revo 3. And we'll get into why that is in a minute. But first, let's talk about why LED is such a good idea. Uh, we've talked about this before, but let's review. Now this particular light is 55 watts, which if you don't know, is very low compared to the halogen lights that are out there right now that we've been using for years in our bars, clubs, and mobile systems. Most LED lights have a lot less wattage than this does, but this does a lot and it's very bright and we'll look at that in a minute. So LED is a great idea because of low power consumption compared to some of the 250 watt halogen lights we've been running for all these years. That's good for a lot of reasons. It's good for the environment, so it's responsible that way. It's good for your electric bill, which is a good thing, and it's also very good for your wall outlet power that you're allocated for a mobile system saying that you're running a mobile. Let me explain. The less power you have to dedicate to your light show, the more power you can dedicate to your sound system, and the less chance you're going to have a circuit breaker flipping off on you, which is very embarrassing. I think it's happened to all of us in the past. Your chances of that happening using LED is greatly reduced. Another reason I like LED is because of the long filament life. Now they don't call them bulbs, they call them filaments. It's little LED lights that are inside. You're looking at like 100,000 hours, which is like over 11 years that these things are supposed to last. So, you know, if you ran this thing for 11 years straight, you probably wouldn't burn anything out. And if you did, you still had plenty of little lights inside to make up for it. Another reason I like LED, very low heat. In fact, virtually no heat. You could run this thing for a week and then touch it. The casing would probably be room temperature or less. That's cool, because as you know, halogen lights get very hot. When we run park hands all night or any light, we have to wait for them to cool off a minute before we tear our truss down. Not with LED. Let's take them on down. No heat. And a new reason why I like LED, and I saw this at the American DJ on Tour event in Chicago last week, they are much more brilliant than you know traditional halogen. They compared a halogen to an LED side by side and the halogen just looked yellow to me. It wasn't as pretty and brilliant as the LED light. We've got a lot to cover in this video so let's move on. Let's tear this sucker apart and take a look inside. Now usually when we tear these lights apart it's no problem. This one's a little more intricate than most of the LED lights that we've looked at. I don't know if you can see, in fact I'll try to zoom here. You see all those little computer chips, little chips all over the place? This is a lot more intricate than what we're used to looking at. Now, let's get to why it's so deep. Why is so much deeper than the Revo 3? Well, here, look. This one you can actually focus. Now for fun, let's just plug it in and have a look at what it looks like. Now, with the cover off, looking directly at this light is highly not recommended. I'm going to discourage that because I just found out what 55 watts of LED looks like. This is very bright. Now on to the back of the light. Uh, right here we have an on-off switch which does exactly that. Turns the light on and off. Here's where you put the fuse. We have power out and power in. So you can link them together if you want to. Up here we have a little microphone. So if you're running in sound active with some of the pre-programmed patterns, which we'll look at in a minute, this microphone will pick up the sound of the music and make the light flash or move to the music. Right here we have the digital display. Instead of dip switches on most new American DJ intelligent lighting and LED lighting, you end up with the digital display, which is very cool because, I don't know, dip switches confuse me. I'm not very good at math. So if I know that a light needs to be at channel 1 or at channel 3 or channel 4 or whatever you know it needs to be at, all I have to do is set it right here. I don't have to do the math and figure out what to set 10 dip switches at. Right here, this is a safety eye. Now, what this is, let's say that you have this 15 pound light hanging in your club. Let's say, I don't know, the clamp fails. What you can do is, you can hook a cable or a chain up to the safety eye and anchor it to the ceiling, just you know, so it doesn't hit anybody's head just in case a clamp fails. It's a good idea to have safety eyes on some of your heavier lights. 
And right here we have DMX in and DMX out, which of course is a standard DMX data cable in and out so you can link them together or link them up with your other DMX lighting. This is IRDAN. We'll look at that in a minute. It's actually a remote control I that plugs into there. And this little guy right here, it says PS2. That's so you can play video games on it. No, that's not true. You can't play video games on it. I'll show you what this is for next. Now here's an old computer keyboard I had laying around. I think a lot of us have these kind of, you know, sitting on the junk pile somewhere when we've replaced our keyboards with something a little more cool. Uh, and this keyboard has a, I think it's a six pin little end connector here. This is what would plug into your PS2 slot. Now what you can do with this keyboard then is type in messages for the LED messenger. Now if you don't have one of these keyboards laying around, it's okay. There's something else that you can use. Let me show you. Now when you get your messenger, aside from a power cable, you get these two items right here. This right here is a remote control, as you can see. And right here what we have is the eye for the remote control. Take a little closer look here, hope you can see. This end actually plugs into the messenger. And this end right here is the remote control I and you can put that wherever it's convenient for you because as you can see they give you a little bit of cable. Now here we're looking at one of the 10 pre-programmed phrases this unit has built in. This is the remote control. You can do a lot of things with this remote control. There's a flash button on here. If I press the flash button your message can flash. Press it again it stops. There's also a speed button on here. This was kind of fun. Press the speed button if you'd like to and you can make this unit go really slow or if you wanted to you could make it go pretty fast as well just by continually pressing the button up 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 and look this is going just stupid fast programs 1 through 10 have pre-programmed phrases uh, now programs 11 and up are blank you can type in whatever you'd like I'm in 11 right now and I'm gonna show you how to use this remote kind of like you use a text messenger on your telephone using the numeric pad. First thing I'm going to do is press the edit button. Right now I'm in program 11. Press the edit button. It tells me edit word. Now take your time on these because uh, it takes a minute for these things to kind of go in. We're going to put in a four letter word. And no it's not what you think. First thing we're going to do is use this little uh, keypad to do our first letter. And there it is. R. Wait a second for the next cursor to flash. Now we're going to do our second letter, O, and our third letter, C, fourth letter, K. Now once we have all the letters in, you just press the enter button and it saves it for you. And we start scrolling right away. Now watch what happens when you do a four letter or less phrase. It'll go up and down too on you. And I thought that was really cool. Put your hands up in the air. 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 Put your hands up. A lot of information in this video about running out of time, but there you have it, the LED messenger. Julian and I used this at a school party last night, and the kids loved it. I blew up those letters about as high as the gymnasium walls are, however high a gymnasium wall is. I guess a basketball court-sized wall, and it looked really cool. Uh, cool light, cool for bars, clubs, mobiles, some of your more festive parties. You might not want to bring this to some of your more elegant events. Uh, some people might not like the big letters on the wall for that. But for your fun festive stuff, this is great. Check it out, the LED Messenger, and there you have it. Any questions, let me know. Practice and enjoy.